YouTube is scary. Not jump scare, scary, but nerve-wrackingly scary. Releasing the video that I released yesterday is definitely the scariest thing I've ever done on YouTube. If you haven't seen it yet, check it out so you know what we're talking about today. Putting your face onto YouTube, it's just weird. Everyone's out there watching and criticizing you. Now being the type of person that I am, I love public speaking. It's something that I do all the time and I absolutely love it. However, doing this music video was really, really scary for me. You're really putting yourself on the line. You're putting yourself out there and that is scary. You're putting yourself out there to the possibility of billions of people. Not that I've got billions of watches, more like thousands. But that's not the point, it's still scary. You're sitting there, you know what you've made. You've cringed editing this video. You know how possibly bad it is. And yet you click that publish button. And then it's out there. And then everyone can see it. Everyone can criticize you. And that's a really scary thing. Putting yourself on the line, putting yourself out there for everyone to watch, for everyone to criticize. It's scary. It's really scary. You're waiting for those people to comment, you know, those comments that come in that just rip you to shreds. I try not to let those things get to me, but they do. You can't help that, they do get to you. Sometimes it's the comments that aren't said. You know the people that are sitting there at home watching that going, that's really not good content. And I accept that. I understand that. I get it. It probably wasn't the best of content. But I had to do it. I had to do it for me. I planned this video and I knew exactly what it was going to look like. And it turned out exactly like I thought it was going to be. A guy riding his motorbike, singing. I'm not a singer. I've never been a singer. I sing in the shower and annoy my family, but I've never been a singer. And to put this video on YouTube saying, this is me, it was hard. It was really, really hard. Now the video might look like a spare of the moment thing. It was not. It was definitely not. I rehearsed. I'd literally rehearsed a long time for that video. I went and found the uh, karaoke version of the song. And I rehearsed. I sat down at the computer and sang that song 50 times. And then yesterday I was working on my Navara and I just had it on repeat. I, I don't know how many times it was playing in the shed there while I was working. So I really did rehearse. And the shot that you saw, that was like my seventh take. I made so many mistakes. So that was the polished version. And it still wasn't that good. A saying that I love, but I really do hate. And it defines yesterday's video perfectly. That's not just good, that's good enough. And that was yesterday's video. I mean, it wasn't polished, it wasn't perfect, but it worked. It did everything that I wanted it to do. It was exactly as I thought it was going to be as well. It was a video that I wanted. Now, I'm not sure if you could hear it, but in that video, I was having an absolute blast. I was laughing and singing and just having the best time ever. And that's what it was all about. Just enjoying myself, putting out content that I really want to do. Having said all of that though, in real life, I'm a total extrovert. I'm the guy that, you know, in the group, he's the one being silly, doing silly things, always making jokes. I'm the guy that tries to entertain. I'm the guy that tries to make people laugh. And that's my personality. And I think YouTube is exactly the same with me. All I'm really here to do is to entertain people. I want to make people laugh. If you're laughing at me, that's fine. I don't mind that. As long as you're enjoying it, as long as you're entertained. It's the whole purpose of my YouTube videos. It's just to entertain people. Now I do some content for my viewers. What you guys want to see, and I know that. And I know what you guys want to see, and I try and put out content just like that. However, a lot of these videos for me this month, are just things for me, things that I've always wanted to do. If you don't like it, that's fine. Just move on to the next one. I'm fine with that. All right, I'm gonna leave you with these final words of wisdom. Do whatever makes you happy. If you wanna create something, do it. 
if you want to get that promotion or that better job or work for yourself, do it. Just do whatever makes you happy. That's what I do. It works for me. I'll see you tomorrow. So as a bit of a postscript here, I'm going to read to you today's script, what I wrote for today's video. I wrote this down yesterday when I got back from filming and editing, and I read it to my wife and she said, Joe, that is absolutely amazing, it's so well worded. And I'm not sure if I portray that in the video or not, so I'm just going to read it word for word. YouTube is scary. Releasing the music video was definitely the hardest video I've ever released. It is like public speaking to potentially billions of people. But you put yourself on the line. You put yourself out there. You hit that publish button and then cringe, waiting for the negative comments. And sometimes, it's the comments that aren't said. It's the people that are sitting at home just laughing it up at your expense. Having said all of that, I've never been one to conform to social norms and been one to worry about what others think. I've always been that extrovert and the clown that does the silly things to make people laugh and make people happy. So YouTube, to me, is no different. I want my videos to be entertaining for my viewers, but I also want to enjoy making them, and making the music video yesterday was a heap of fun. I'm not sure if you could hear it in my singing voice, but I was loving it and having the time of my life. As terrible as it sounded, it took a lot of time to create. There was heaps of takes, finding the audio and syncing it up, it wasn't just a spur of the moment thing. And I'll leave you with this, do whatever makes you happy. See you tomorrow.